let's go guys we are going to learn how to create the postgresql database in the azure so first of all we have to log in we have to create a feta account or you can go with uh, as well as the pay as you go service so i will upload the separate video to how to create this free account so just please ref, uh, refer later on it so first we will search our uh, azure service called postgres Pros, uh, Azure database for Postgres SQL server then uh, just click on the create Azure database for Postgres SQL server so here we have to configure our uh, whole storage the subscription type and resource so before that uh, you have to create a resource group or on the fly you can create here also we will get the option to create the resource group so whatever the billing is happening so it will show for this particular resource so once uh, you have create all the things creation and done and you once you learn just make sure that you have to delete the resource group to avoid the charges if you have the free trial then it's okay for one month but uh, like if you are going for pay as you go and your learning has completed just uh, just make sure that uh, you are just deleting the resource group or it will charge on daily basis or the monthly so as i have the subscription as a subscription uh, it's a free trial one uh, after the signing sign up for the free version of the azure uh, azure services uh, you also get so i'm just selecting this subscription then I'm just selecting the my existing resource group which I have created. You can straightforward go ahead and create the new resource group as you want. So we'll give some server name. It's, uh, it's your name like we can give anything. I'm giving just uh, mm, uh, I'm giving just TPA TPA DB test. So you can give anything. So uh, you have to choose the reason which is near to you or which is having the less cost. So it is saying that it is not available. Like some services will be not available for the free. Uh, like some regions are not available for free trial one. So what we can do is we'll just select UK South or we can go and check one one like which is getting less cost. So here I'm just selecting UK South. Uh, UK South. So let me check what is the cost monthly. So now it's showing $635 per month. But uh, what we can do is, uh, we'll uh, for it is just uh, a testing purpose, right? We'll not use the high configured uh, things. So uh, work type, I'm just selecting a development because production will be having the more availability. So the cost will also more. Now you just see the cost has been reduced for $18 per month and we are getting one v core and 2 gb ram and the 32 b 32 gb storage for our database so next thing you have to select the postgresql authentication only like it's a uh, uh, password uh, it's kind of the uh, username and, and the password so i'm giving just tpa user you can give whatever you can give just make sure that you are just noting it somewhere like we have to we need this later on to log in and creating our data uh, tables and databases so password give on your own which you can remind it should be eight character we have to confirm the password as well the right one two three four five then just click on networking so make sure that it should be public access so like uh, for testing purpose so we'll not get any authentication in all the firewall error just for testing and you have to make sure that it is also clicked and click here also like when you configure this database to your local postgres so it should be uh, it should be automatically uh, detect so just click on here add current ip address so for this particular database your system ip will get attached so when you try to configure this with your local system so without any error uh, you can configure so next click on security then keep at as it is just go for the tags no need to give review and create uh, just click on create here 
so our deployment got initialized it might take few times uh, i will crop this video and i'll directly jump to how we can take its strings connection string and all uh, so deployment is in progress it might take uh, two to three minutes uh, we can see this still in progress yeah so we can see our development uh, deployment has been completed so we just uh, we can click here directly go to resource so later on also if you want to come like uh, you have to search here this azure postgres server then whatever we have created right now will be visible here so once we come into our resource we have here many options can i delete uh, resource password and stop this database services and all but for now we'll check how we can connect this db to our local postgres so we can create the table here so it will and it will automatically get you know inserted to this cloud based server so we will we have to click the connect so here we will get the credential to connect with the local so we have the host name username this port and the database and the password which you have been set by uh, creating this resource so i'll go to now uh, you have to install this uh, post uh, postgres pg admin and the workbench for it i will upload the video later on like how to install this pg admin in your local or you can uh, refer any other uh, resource on youtube as well so let's jump uh, once you log into the pg admin so you will directly uh, jump to on this page so what we can do is so you have to go to the dashboard and add new server so name you can give your uh, any uh, name like uh, db test you can give then then connection so here it will ask the host name and the address so you just copy this here only this this much so just copy and uh, paste it here so, and the port is same no do not change anything for the port so just uh, maintain just ignore the maintenance database and the username is uh, tpa user so it's a tpa in the sense i just uh, give the test uh, uh, test user like this kind of thing so just take tpa user copy and paste here and then password you can give anything Uh, sorry uh, password is like something that you have given while creating the db and uh, uh, that's all then you have to save this so now it got configured with our local then you have to click here on the db test so after db test you have to click on this postgres then schemas then under schemas then public under public you will get tables if you would uh, click here in drop down you can't see any table right uh, either you can go here and uh, do query table and write some simple table statement to create the table let me do that as well just to showcase Table got created. Now, if I 
do the select star from cars this is the column then run the brand and model the database data table is empty we haven't inserted any values like it might be there to insert anything uh, let me check yeah so here is some insert command is there insert into table name you have to give the it, it is a positional insert we call it is a positional insert so cast and brand volume model. and value should be for for the brand model is a must and then here it is an analysis to just copy this and paste it here so select you have to select and run whatever you want to run you have to select before click on it so query a successful run let me run this select command once again now you can see brand is for uh, one rose got inserted right so when you are doing everything this this has connected to do our uh, azure so whatever you do it is going on our cloud based uh, db okay so so this is an example uh, you can do it that's all thank you thing guys like before wind up this video can you tell like if you want to verify does your the table got successfully came into the azure server so you just click on the setting and go click on the database on your resource so you can see this page actually and you just click on the connect so let's click you here like it might ask you for the password for the user so whatever your password set just give that password uh, and just after giving the password password won't show here while typing don't be don't be get confused just click on enter so here now you can just type a command uh, select star from whatever table you have created from cars so just give semicolon you can write other queries also to say uh to show the tables like show tables so it can show the how many tables you got created in your database just click enter yeah now we can see this same table as fetching here so that means uh, we have successfully created this as your resource then we have connected it from local and we have pushed or we have created this from the uh, just uh, graphical inter interface of the pj admin and we have just inter inserted this table so this is how we can do this yeah thank you so much do like share and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you